Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, the the intro to my show, uh, you know, that little intro song features uh, two uh, Olympians, right? There's the, there's the famous call from Penel Whitaker from the 84 games, and then uh, Andre Ward's also in it. And I think we may be getting another gold medalist. Um, you know, both Ward and Whitaker are gold medalists. Um, we may be getting another gold medalist uh, for the first time since 2004. Keyshawn Davis put on a spectacular performance in the first round. Um, won every round, every card, got a 10-8 round. Really, really dominated uh, an opponent from Netherlands. Um, but before we get into that, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, please subscribe to uh, 3D Boxing. Um Subscribe, share, um, hit the bell icon, you know, all the good stuff. Um, and also, um, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, our other channel, the second channel, um, it's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, so please uh, help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. All right, let's get into today's show. Keyshawn Davis was absolutely spectacular. Um, I'm not exactly sure. He's able to be in the Olympics. I don't even think he understands. Um, but today's performance, um, I mean, 10 out of 10. Um, again, we're, we're going to see the rest of the pool. We're going to see how he looks. Uh, but Davis is 22 years old. Absolutely destroyed Enrico LaCruz from the Netherlands. Um, it, it went to three rounds. Um but boy, Keyshawn Davis looked looked spectacular. Um, he, like I said, he won every single round in all five cards. He had ten eight round. Uh, he won actually. I think it was two ten eight rounds on one of the judges' cards. Um, his jab was spectacular. His movement was spectacular. Spectacular. Um, you know the difference in hand speed was uh, was so noticeable. Um, you know, hand speed and foot speed. Uh, was just and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the guy La Cruz that he fought, but boy, is are there levels to this? Um, and and the first round we saw that. In the second round, La Cruz kind of said, "Okay, I'm going to go for broke," and got really aggressive um, and tried to cut off the ring and 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 really bring the fight to Keyshawn Davis. That didn't work for him at all. Um, you know, he started eating right hands, not just jabs at that. Um, he was a master, I mean, just masterful defense. Um, not letting the crews cut off the ring, uh, making a miss, smothering his punches at close quarters. I mean, there's nothing Keyshawn Davis didn't do in this fight. Um, he dominated, outboxed him with the jab in the first round, and then beat him up and embarrassed him um, in, in the second and third round. Um, so he moves on to the, uh, I'm going to call it the Sweet 16. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, the round of 16. Um, he's fighting uh, a Frenchman. I'm going to say this wrong. Sofane Omaha. Um, this is going to be a big test. Um, he's the number one seed in, in the division. Um, and he won a silver medal in 2016. Um, but... You know what? What you would say is that you 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 think that this would fav, favor the Frenchman. Um, Davis has two wins over this guy. Um, Davis should win. Um, Davis is the better fighter. Davis is, is obviously he's got you know he's got pro experience and amateur experience, which I want to get into. You know, I'm I'm hoping. <laughs> Um, Keyshawn Davis, because I, I I think this kid is special, can win a gold medal 
in uh, in, in 2021, and, and and won a world championship in 2022. Is that is that too much? Is that is that too much? Too quick? I don't know. Um, but there's a lot to like about this kid. I mean, the talent is there. Um, if he can get past this round, I mean, he's going to be the favorite to win this thing, as he'd have beaten the favorite. Um, yeah, you know, we've gotten to see Keyshawn Davis on some big cards. Uh, we've seen him on some Canelo cards. We've seen him, I think, on the Anthony Joshua card. We've seen him on some big cards. There's a lot to like about him as a pro and as an amateur. He's equally as impressive. Um, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, uh, the Americans haven't got a gold medal since 2004. There's a good chance we could end that right now. Um, again, I don't fully understand how he's allowed to fight. Um, he, he failed to report to the mandatory training camp, and then he wasn't allowed to. I, I'm not sure of the whole thing. Uh, and I don't think Keyshawn Davis is, Duke Reagan. None of these guys really understood when they decided to turn pro instead, but now they're allowed to fight in the Olympics. Um. But I don't think it taints it at all, right? Because, I mean, you can go in a World Series of boxing and fight forever. You know, fight until you're 32 uh, in the World Series of boxing. Make a living. Fight high-level guys. Um, so I, I don't think this taints Keyshawn Davis if, if he does win a gold medal. Um, but um, this was a spectacular performance. There's absolutely nothing not to like about this kid. Um, truly special, special talent. Um, let me know what you guys like. Um, let, me, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys watching this at all? Um, did you guys see the Russian that just fought? Um, we got the stoppage. That guy's fun to watch. And mom, Kirim Kamov, I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, but I don't think, think the Olympics have been good. So lots of good fighters in the Olympics. Um, lot, lots of talent, lots of even fights. Um, there were two guys in, in, on the first day um, that caught my attention, too. I'll give them a shout-out. I took their names down. Um, Kurt Walker from Ireland and uh, Albert Aisi uh, from Cameroon. Both look sensational. Keyshawn Davis looks sensational. Um, you had this Imam Kiramov guy, if I'm saying that right, from Russia. There's lots of good fighters in this. Lots of good fighters. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Leave your thoughts on Keyshawn Davis. Uh, does him going pro tank this? Does it change anything? Because I don't think so. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. Remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, um, to keep you up to date on the latest, uh, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, and please subscribe to our other channel, the backup channel, not the backup, the second channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Um, completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, and all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, from Texas, oh, it's July 25th. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get Ivan Calderon in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, it is July 25th, 2021. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.